all right folks good morning it's the start of another beautiful day on darbone and we've got steam rising from the lake it's a cold day got jeans on the whole nine yards a perfect fall day it's gonna get up to mid 70s air is gonna be still me and ryan are gonna fish out of his boat we're just gonna have a great day we're putting the big seven fish that we can get today and see what we can do on a full day first time together in the boat during this pre-fish um so it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool pretty fun pretty exciting captain i'm gonna show you some images on live scope the catches what we're dealing with and um yeah we're gonna see what we can do leading up to this national championship check it out folks all right folks a lot going on in this episode i will be doing a lot of voiceovers unfortunately because we didn't do a, we did so much talking i should say that it was really hard to differentiate what we needed to talk about what we didn't need to talk about in this particular video so hang with me um there are going to be a lot of voiceovers in this video but there's a lot going on here we're searching the lake together for the first time i'm in ryan's boat for essentially the first time and so uh, we're having to learn and, and kind of cope with those differences that we're not used to. Of course, me being in his boat, you know, at the same time distracts him. So we're kind of figuring it out um, in this tournament. And this is kind of our, this is our second time in the boat together. So um, we're going to be learning together and uh, hopefully putting big fish in the boat for this tournament. It's above that one pound mark. Yeah. So on this day, Ryan got off to a hot start. I mean, we had four good fish in the boat right off the bat. Um, you're going to ask us why we started here because based off our pre-fish, uh, these areas on the north end of the lake were the areas that we were seeing the best fish, the fish that we were actually catching. These were the best sized ones that we saw. So we wanted to test that theory together. That's how we came to the conclusion of starting here. Now, Ryan's really good at pitching the bait and uh, so we're really taking advantage of that right now. He's working the foot pedal and essentially he would pitch to it and then I would follow up with maybe a 10 or 15 foot pitch, which is something that I specialize in it. So we were trying to use each other's strengths and um, it was working out on this day. We actually were doing very well from the get go. Um, had a real positive vibe going right off the bat. It was a lot easier than I thought. It definitely was a little bit of a learning curve for me, just being in somebody else's boat. He has a 1222, um, I have an 8612. So okay. it was definitely a difference there. It's but. about a 0.6. Point six probably.
Brian putting a clinic on, man. Look at that. That's a freaking pig. I'm Darbone right now. Seven of those, that's seven tournament fish. That is a tournament fish this, this week. That's a pretty darn good start. So we're gonna leave this area. We're gonna leave this area and go to our next spot. So at this point, after the pre-fishing that we had done, we assumed that you had to have at least a 1.5 for seven fish. That would be on the low end. So anything over a 1.5 was gonna be a good fish. You needed at least seven of those. So hopefully you can get into 1.8, that type of thing. That was our theory. So we know we needed that kind of number and we were happy with that area. So we're moving on to our next. All right, different view folks. Video of us spin around like a top on top of a log while ago. Mm -hmm. You got it there pretty good. It's <laughs> mm, the highest I've been on a log. <laughs> I didn't know we're I'm glad there wasn't a big breeze. We'd be spinning around on top of it. Looks like a good fish. Yeah, but I don't think it is. That other one. There's a good one. Look at that, folks. All day long. 20 pound and a half fish. Looks bigger than that. And I'll tell you what, folks, we were catching a ton of fish, just an absolute ton of fish, usually right around that pound mark. So anything over a pound was kind of a positive, was a, was a good vibe. So that's what our target always was. Our strategy was simple. You know, Ryan would, uh, would start there with the pitch about 20, 25 feet out. And if we got in there to around the 14 foot number, which a lot of times we did, and especially late in the day we did as the fish went a little deeper, uh, I would drop on them. Uh, I'd usually start my pitch around 14 foot. The Darbone bait was on fire. So if you want to check that out, you can at three pound fish and tackle. But um, it was a great day. We we caught a ton of fish and we're just on, on the hunt for the big fish. And uh, as it continues in this episode, you'll see there's some great fish that go in the boat and uh, it's definitely setting us up for our first day of the tournament. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I get the small fish of the, of the day award. You might have been the small fish of the week. That right there might take the bait. There. That's a two pounder. Right 
<laughs> That's a good fish. Look at that hog. That is a beautiful fish. Big fish. That is my big fish right there. <laughs> Too. Folks, that's my big fish at Darbone right there. That is a hog. That's picture fish right there. Bam! Thanks for joining me and Ryan. I think we're ready. Man. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful fish. So going into day one of the championship, we feel really good. We crushed it with our 13 and 10 footers from Ozark Rods. It was a, a really great pre-fish day, which always bothers me just a little bit because I'd like to go into the tournament just a little starving um, and don't come off a good practice day. So on this day, we ended up with roughly around 10 and a half pounds. That was basically our best day. So we're looking forward to the tournament. That will be coming up on the next episode. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies.